Right, I'll just tell you what I'm thinking. I painted this yesterday, right? If you want to see me paint this, um, it's on my channel, so you can watch it, it's wicked. Um, so, I was staring at it yesterday for about probably two hours, and I was just like daydreaming really, just thinking, I was just wondering if a giraffe could swim. And I started thinking, well, I reckon that's why a giraffe, I don't think it can swim. And I think that's why it's evolved to have a dead long neck. So when it has to cross bits of water like this, there's no water that's that deep. Even like the deep end of a swimming pool, a giraffe would only be up to its knees, wouldn't it? So it wouldn't matter. It's never going to need to swim, in it. But anyway, while I was staring at it, thinking about if giraffes can swim, I thought, what if I swept this land across here like that? Where them birds are there, a kite and a little kid flying a kite. So what I've done, I've um, sketched out that there, what's basically the same as that but without the river. And that's what I'm going to do. Right, let me have a sip of coffee. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Right. I think, yeah, I'm just going to wet all my paper, saturate it all through. I've cleaned my water today. So I'm moaning yesterday, it was filthy. So I've cleaned it. That's a little tip for you. Clean your water every now and then. I don't clean it that often, to be fair. Oops, bang my camera off. Right, I'm going to start with some um, Payne's Grey. Oh, well, there's a bit of Bon Tumber in it and all it looks on it. It's just muck at the bottom of my palette but I know it's made up of Payne's Grey and I've just dabbed into my Bon Tumber by mistake so I know there's a bit of Bon Tumber in it. I've got my tea towel on my knee and I'm just drying that out a bit, it's too wet and I just want to get some sort of cloudy shapes in here across there like that, that's perfect, lovely. So I'm going to go across there like that and have a bit more in there, a bit more down there, a bit there, a bit like that's nice, that's nice. There. I'm going to dry my brush off completely and just try and fluff them up a bit. Like that. There, that's lovely. Fluff them round a bit, that'll do. Soften them in a bit, that's it, lovely. Right, then some civilian blue. If you can't get the civilian, get yourself some cerulean. It's even nicer. Stick that in, same again. I'm leaving a tiny bit of white between these gaps so there's a bit of white front top of clouds. I'm going to dry my brush, let's dry it on my tea towel and then I'm going to do the same, just fluff them hard edges, just fluff them in like that, look, see what I'm doing, just softening them in. Uh, pretty easy, like that. This is going to dry quite light actually, it's going to be quite a pale sky I think, but it'll be sad, yeah, something like that will do. I think that'll do. It's going to be a really pale sky, that. But I think it'll do. Let's get it a little dry. I could, if you want it a bit pale, like that, and you want it a bit darker, dry it completely. Go over the whole thing again and put a bit more in. I'm happy with that, I'll do me. Um, right, I'm going to mix some of that civilian blue and mix it with some of that Payne's grey. Just get like a sort of, see what that looks like, greyish, bluish colour. Oh, that's alright, that'll do me. I'm just coming to here. I'm going to leave some little gaps where them trees are, what I've sketched in. And come into here and just pop that background hill in. Oh, it's a bit there, look. Yeah. Up there, down to there, to there. Perfect. I'll do the same again. Dry my brush, bone dry, and then I'm just going to take them puddles out there. There we are. See there where I've gone over my slight pencil line? I'll just change my hill to there. I'll not try and wash that back out, though. There's no point. Um, actually, while well, that's still wet. I'm going to try and whack them trees in there, let me have a little drink. Oh, this reminds me of when 
me and Doofus went out um, went out into countryside Doofus had been saving up for months to get this kite well I wanted to go and buy a kite there's, a, there's this countryside and we've been before and there's a kite shop and I wanted to buy a kite well Doofus reckoned he wanted to buy every single kite in shop what I thought was a little bit mental but I suppose that is Doofus a little bit mental but yeah Doofus decided he wanted every single kite in shop so that's what he did he bought the lot and um, so I went out to fly these kites and um, I'd got a kite God knows how many doofus has got. It must have had about 40 kites. And um, he let them off. Well, they just dragged him straight up into the air, didn't they? He just he got that many. It just he took off. And then he was screaming as he floated away. But what? I didn't know what to do. I panicked. Hmm. I wrote for an ambulance. First class stamp on it. No, I didn't. I phoned it. I phoned the emergency services up. They says, "What service do you require?" Well, I wasn't sure. What? What do I require? Doofus is floating off. So I says, "I'll have all all of them." I says, "My stepbrother's just tried to explain. I think they thought it were a prank call. Obviously, it, it won't. It's just me." When I said who my stepbrother was, they went, "All right, we we understand that." But uh, so I ended up getting all three fire brigade, um, ambulance, and the police. They all come out, but it were no good because it floated. Um, it floated straight over the Pacific Ocean and over towards France. By the time they got to where it took off, Doofus were halfway to France, and, kept, and it it didn't go down in France. It just kept floating and floating. He ended up. Ended up floating over the um, Arctic Circle. And that's where he. Uh, well, what happened when he got over the Arctic Circle? His kites froze up solid. And then, obviously, once he froze up solid with ice, they went down like, um, well, like a lead balloon. Really, they just sort of crashed straight through, straight into ground. Pretty fast and uh, taking doofus with him yeah poor old doofus yeah luckily he did land he landed in like really soft snow but he still managed to break every single bone in his body he's lucky he survived because there was some uh, like explorers and that out there and luckily they saved him but they were lucky he survived They took him to a hospital and um, he got severe, really severe hypothermia. Plus, he broke every single bone in his body. And um, so, the, the main job was just to sort of thaw him out. But um, Doofus decided they weren't thawing him out quick enough. So, somehow, even though he'd broke every bone in his body, somehow he managed to drag himself off. And he managed to drag himself all the way over to um, where the canteen was, and he found in there a big industrial microwave. So he got in that and uh, thawed himself out in there. But um, while he were doing that, he'd get himself, uh, he thawed himself out, stopped himself getting hypothermia, but he'd also get himself nuclear radiation from thawing him sent out in the microwave yeah he'd uh, when he come out of the microwave he grew an extra little finger on both hands and one of his ears had fell off but it were good because I knew what to get him at Christmas that Christmas I bought him a pair of six fingered gloves and an earmuff so 
I knew exactly what I wanted for Christmas, so it, it all worked out good. He's all right now. We went to the zoo earlier in the week. We were looking at the lions and doofus goes, oh, they look dead cute, they look dead cuddly, nice as they do, don't they? So I climbed over Barry and went to get a cuddle off them. Well, doofus hit the floor first and um, two lines sort of, they didn't sort of take much notice of me, they just sort of looked straight up at doofus and then Doofus went running towards them to get a cuddle and then they sort of like the very affectionate lines are very affectionate but they're a bit rough when it comes when they're cuddling you they're a bit rough and um, they sort of ended up mauling Doofus all over the place the uh, they managed to get him out the zookeepers and luckily because he ended up in hospital. Luckily, they have managed to reattach his legs. But, uh, yeah, they were sort of quite rough for a bit. Poor old doofus. Yeah. They said, um, they said he should be all right in, like, a few months. said, um, doofus says, oh, brilliant, because he can't wait to go again so he can play with crocodiles. Let's get some dark bits in here as well. So this has got, I've put that red in there because this is all the red autumn leaves on this tree. Yeah. That's some nice browns in bottom there. Oh, even dab some. A bit of yellow back in. A bit of yellow. There, that's nice, isn't it? There. Now. Nah. I think I'm gonna go into some greens for some bushes at the bottom here. You get your like evergreens in winter, don't you? So I'll whack some of them in at the bottom of there. Something like that, that's nice, isn't it? Some evergreens, I get some dark into the bottom of there. That's it, and then I think, what shall I do? Let's dab that into, oh, I, want my, I want this one a bit lighter, just coming up there. I'll squeeze my brush out. A bit of water on my brush, soften some of that in. A bit of some of there, like that. That's it. Yeah, that'll do me. I think I'll smooth some of that in. Let's say light's coming. Let's say light's coming in that way. So we'll smooth across a bit of a dark shadow coming across there. That'll look nice. And then let's say there's another tree off um, off the side there. What we can't see. And bring another shadow in across there like that look there that's always gonna look wicked right, there we are. Right, i'll put some twigs and stuff in that in a bit uh right shall i get out of dry and whack my little uh my little kid in with his cat <laughs> said I'd wished I'd done that sky stronger that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it stronger so I'm gonna get some nice clean fresh water and come into about there and just wet that through just down into about there like that bit sand and get some more of that grubby black colour just stick an extra little bit of that in about there bit there bit there, bit there. Like that. wash my brush dry it and then just Soften that in a little bit. Well, actually, quite a lot. Fluffy them edges up a bit, look. There. That's better. And just to strengthen in some of this stuff. Now, get some nice blue. 
some of that in. Same again, I'll soften this in in a minute. That's it. My brush, soften it across that way. There. That's better, just give me a bit of strength. I think I need to soften the edges of that a bit more. One little tiny bit more of that. Payne's grey and that, just to soften it a bit. Same there, I think, slightly more soft edges. D, 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 there, that'll do. There, that'll look sad when it's tried that. It just looked a bit weak. You know what, I'm gonna stick a bit, a few bits in here as well. A bit extra in there. Extra in there, oh, a bit of a white cloud there, some extra blue in there. That's all. Oh, that's nice. There, that's sand. That'll dry. That should dry nice, I think. That's better in here. Let's get that dry. Whoa! See that thick chunk there? That's what you get when you use cheap paint. You sometimes get that with cheap paints made that little line there. But cheap paint, I got this paint give me for free. One cheap it was free. So I thought I like that. So I'm always moaning that I'm skin. Right, I'm just looking. You know what? I'm gonna make that line there stronger so it throws that ill back. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'll get plenty of yellow in there, plenty of yellow like that, bring that up there, that's it. Then I'll get some nice green, so it comes up green, nice bright green colour, that's nice. And then a thick, dark, lovely green like that, throw it right back up, that's nice isn't it? There, just to throw it all right back, I have to dry this again now. Didn't really want that to do because I would like to get me kidding with his kite and spending more time driving. <laughs> thrown that right back into the background. Now looking at my other picture, I wanted my kite there, but that's a bit dark there. There's a light bit there. So I think I'll do a bright red kite, then my kid facing that way, and I'm a kite there. So already I've changed my mind. So you can just go with the flow with this sort of painting. You ain't got to worry too much. Right, I want to mix a really, really bright red. So I want this kite to really stand out. Oh, that's looking lovely. Getting a lovely colour mixed up here. Squeeze my brush out so I didn't want to waste any paint. There. Put that there a minute. Right, so let's get my kite in. A tiny little brush I'm using. Get in there then. Nice. A little quite big. A nice big kite like that. That's nice, isn't it? And then some of them have them little things on, don't they, like that? A little tail thing on them. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? So that's my kite. Oh, that looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's that um, there is. So that's my kite. Right, let's get my little... You know what, should, why did I wash that brush? I should have... Kept it on mix now. A bright orange colour, I think. Let's see if I can game an orange top. Is it going to work? Oh, that's not bright enough. Makes it brighter. There, 
that is. Brilliant. Right. Where's that little brush gone? In fact, let's use a bit bigger one. Let's get not that one bigger still, that one. Right. Pop in bright orange jumper. A little kid. Let's have him about here like that. And he's sort of his arms are sort of going up there like that. I'm going his kite. That's his bright orange jumper. Let's give him some jeans. These are his jeans. He's quite. Uh, let's give him a little shadow. He's quite excited to be flying his kite. That's in a little shadow. There. It's just uh, his jeans seem to have gone orange. Better there, give him an head. There, just flying his kite. Let's say, uh, let's give him a little friend. Let's give him a little friend. His friend's got right yellow t shirt on. Will that stand out enough though? Probably not. Just take that out. Don't know. Uh, mm, let's, what colour should I change that to? Bright yellow. Can I change that to orange? You know, I'll put daft both in orange. Let's say they're both brothers and they're both both wearing orange. Let's say. This one's on black trousers. They're both equal kids, I think. Getting quite excited about the little kite. Oh, just like me and Doofus when we went out. Uh, just looking up, flying that kite. Right, all I really need now is some stuff. Yeah, some stuff. I want to be quick now because I'm taking quite a long time on this one. I want to be quicker. Right, let's get in here. It's like sticking out the top. Mm, it's one of them bushy bushes like that where there's bits and bobs going everywhere. Some bits in there. So not like that on them, because they're far away. I'm gonna give them a dab. Let's see if I can take it back a bit. Didn't go back very far, did it? Well, it'll go. Right, we've got to have. Where shall we pop them here? Peter and Paul out looking for worms. We'll pop them there like that. We'll put a BD on it. B, B, B to B. And I think that'll do. A couple of kids flying a kite. Jobs are good. See you on beach. In it.